It's Jesse. We're out for another Jay and Jesse's Adventures. He's behind the camera. He puts me here. But as long as we're both going to enjoy the food, we're all happy. We're at Belforno in Old Town, Oregon. We've got Bob here. Bob, this oven makes this place. Tell us about the oven. Well, the oven is imported from Tuscany. You can see the official label here. And it was brought over piece by piece on a boat. It weighs about 4,000 pounds. There was an old oven here just like it, but it was in the very back of the restaurant. And we really want to showcase the cooking in the oven. And it was all assembled and without demolishing the building, we basically had to buy a new oven that came in parts, uh, 300 pound blocks, and we cemented it all together and built this oven. So, And that was all just so that we can see our pizza being made in this oven? Yeah, we wanted the warmth and the ambiance of the oven and the fire for the customers to see it. And that's... Uh, why we went through all the trouble and the expense. So the other one, the old one, we'll probably put on a trailer because we do a lot of catering too. And we'll put that one on a trailer and use that to cater with. Yeah, you guys do weddings and events. You do all that kind of stuff. And you take an oven out there and do the, the make the pizzas out there, right? Yes, we do. That's yeah. amazing. We basically have this, this restaurant on a trailer that weighs about 10,000 pounds. And we actually got our start catering uh, weddings and corporate events, uh, wine release parties at wineries where we will pair a pizza with a new wine and we'll come up with a new recipe. So it's a lot of fun. So that's Delicious. how we got our roots and how we got started. And then you needed a home base. So you built a brick and mortar, huh? Everybody said you got to open up a restaurant. So 12 years later, after catering, we opened up Pizzeria Bella Forna. Right. Well, I live two blocks away and I've been no stranger to this place. I love it here. And, you know, it's just the ambiance. And I know that there's a lot of history behind it. I've already learned a little bit just about the pews and the tables and all that kind of stuff. You kept a lot of Old Town Orchid's history and even brought some history in from other places. It's really cool. We did a lot of the build out ourselves, so we wanted something very unique. We didn't want to go country western and we didn't want to go modern. So we kind of ended up with, I don't know what you call it, kind of an industrial throwback kind of vibe in here. And while I was working, I was constantly looking at Craigslist to see you know, if I could find some chairs. And then I bumped into church pews. So I found uh, uh, several church pews from a Christian church in Santa Barbara. And they were liquidating and going to chairs, and they're like 60-year-old benches. So we customized them, shortened them up, modified the ends, and those are the church pews that are uh, that you see displayed and we use in the restaurant. And so as you like praise the amazingness of the pizza, it's actually legit because you're on a pew anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like holy pizza. You can come in here and <laughs> praise the pizza all you want. We love it. Um, and the bottle caps. Will you tell me really quick about these bottle caps because that story is incredible. Yeah, so the bottle caps we found underneath the foundation when we were remodeling and pulling up the wood floor. Of this building. Like this these building. bottle caps are from here under the building. Under the building. And so there are two piles of them. And so I looked on, on the internet, did some historical research, and there was a market here at one time. So our thinking was they had, there were some old holes in the flooring that were covered up by new flooring. And we think they had an old Coke machine and they just popped the cap off, had a hole in the floor and ended up with thousands of bottle so caps cool. in a mound underneath. A lot of them in very good shape. A lot of them are collectible. So we have them displayed on the wall. And so please see them. When you come to Bella Florida, you have to look at the bottle caps on the wall because I've seen them a million times, but I didn't know the history behind them. It is so cool. Those have been right here where we stand for 100 years probably. It's really cool. So check those out. Also look at the labels on your table when you come in. When you're sitting there, the tables in the front, they have where the wood is coming from. They, you, know, you imported the wood and you made the tables, right? Yeah, the, the tables were actually made from the original wood floor. Oh, the wood floors from this building. From that's this right, building. that's right. So we were going to refinish it because we love the wood, but it took about three hours to do three square inches of stripping off layers of linoleum and glue. How many have time for that? We just want pizza. So I said, I'm pulling the floor out. So I started pulling the floor out and flipped it over. I said, you know what? The underside is pretty nice. And then I noticed they had branded on the backside where the wood was milled. So I Google searched it, and it's from a mill in Oregon that closed in, I think it was 1908. So I said, well, we could, have, we could make tables out of this. And we made some frames and made a lot. Of, most of the tables are made from the old wood flooring. So amazing. So come in, try the pizza, try the sandwiches, try the soups, and check out the history. Bob basically lives here, so when you come in, you'll probably see him. So ask him about it. Ask him about the history, because he is full of stories, and you can cook, and you can build tables. He's a <laughs> jack of all trades. Now I want to eat the food. Yeah. Can we do it? Yeah, we'll do it. Let's okay. get going. Let's eat. <laughs>
So Jesse's having uh, our now famous roasted red pepper tomato soup that uh, we kind of bumped into a recipe uh, and everybody loves it. Uh, we took a recipe that I found on the internet and we added some adobo chilies to it, gave the soup a little bit of a kick. And we like a, a thicker bisque type soup. And I'm afraid to take it off the menu because so many people love the soup. And it's very popular soup and salad. So you can get any salad we make with a cup of soup for lunch or dinner. And the portion sizes are great. Check this out. I'm already like six bites into the salad. And mm -hmm. I haven't even touched the soup yet. I want to talk beverages for a minute, Bob, because pizza, beer, and wine go together. Of course, kids like the Pellegrino and the soft drinks and stuff. I see you've got a great selection of the vino. Correct. And a, a pretty fancy delivery system, too. What's the significance of this deal? Well, this is... Uh, all our glasses we offer by the glass are stored under nitrogen, so it extends the shelf life and keeps the wine much fresher, uh, like you just opened it. So by doing this in a small restaurant, we're able to offer 12 different wines by the glass, which is a lot for even a large restaurant. So this gives our customers a nice variety of wine, and it keeps the wine uh, at a high quality. Yeah because most restaurants wouldn't open a bottle if they didn't think they were going to sell the whole bottle. Correct, yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. That's a benefit to the, you know, if you want to get a bottle, they're available. I see them back there. You get a whole bottle for your table or a couple, but if you're ordering by the glass, that's a definite benefit. Espresso, can you, can you, it's illegal to have an Italian restaurant without proper espresso, right? Right, right. So you, you've got the real deal. We got the real deal. We got the number one roaster in Italy, Italy which we use for all our espresso. We make coffee, uh, cappuccino, lattes, and we also use uh, Slate Coffee, which is probably something most people haven't heard about, which is a roaster up in uh, just north of us hmm. in the slow area that make a great coffee. So that's our regular coffee that we use. Okay, Jay, you wanted to try our signature salad. This is uh, our locally sourced arugula and a sweet mix of greens with a sherry vinaigrette honey dressing, candy pecans, and gorgonzola cheese. Very popular salad. Uh, been doing it for 12 years and everybody loves this salad. Hey Jay Turner, this is called a salad. You eat it when you're trying to go healthy or maybe diet. It's called a salad. <laughs> Looks delicious. I might just take this one actually. <laughs> then we'll roll into pizza. Oh my god. Uh, probably. Have you had that there. before? Mm -hmm. But people like it. All day long. Man. Yeah, people like that salad. You'll be engaged. Are you like planning your uh, maybe rehearsal dinner or something for here? We're actually going to ask about that. It's a good place. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know how well you can hear me with all this noise. No, it's great music. No, it's fine. Uh, Bob just brought me the, this is the club. It's the Italian club. The Pizzeria Bella Forno Club d'Italiano. How do you say club in Italian? I don't either. So, it's the club, the Italian club. <laughs> and it's got... Turkey, ham, looks like some Bermuda onion on there. The thickest beef steak or whatever kind of tomato I've ever seen. Heirloom, heirloom tomato and this aioli sauce. And a basil aioli. A basil red aioli. peppers and there's also some uh, uh, Swiss cheese on there. You notice people. Which isn't very Italian. People, people, people just walking down the sidewalk are stopping and like, ooh, that looks good. All right, here it goes. Wish me luck. Wow. That's the aioli. Yeah, that's a It's delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have a piece of yours? No. Come on. No way, Jose. Ooh. There you go. This is what I wanted. Well, yeah, we know how much you love the meatballs. Stephanie's here with the Bella Forno meatballs, which are world famous. Tell us about them. Well, they are an Angus sirloin, um, and we do make them fresh here. Um, everything's from scratch, so um, you're going to enjoy something that's very juicy and delicious and not frozen from the store. Um, but, uh, you know, we make our sauces and everything from um, scratch here, um, so I think that you'll enjoy those. Oh, my God. Delicious. Here's the thing about a meatball. Excuse me. Hey, look over there. People, you can have, see, unlike you, I share. The thing about a meatball is people think a meatball is a meatball is a meatball. Not so. No, it is all about the ingredients. Yeah. You know, we do, I, like I said, we use the Angus um, beef sirloin here. Um, and then we use like a high quality Parmesan, um, eggs and whatnot, um, fresh um, parsley, um, which just gives it a really nice fresh flavor. Well, and it's tender. You know, I think a lot of times you get meat, especially if you buy a bag of meatballs in the store, you take them home. It's like eating a golf ball. This is a loose, tender delicious meatball uh, yes yeah it's very delicious um
Have a look at that. I don't know if the lights, there it is. Oh, yeah. In there, too. It's really, really good. So this is an appetizer? Yes, it is. It is our appetizer, and we do serve it during lunch and dinner. Um, we serve it also in our meatball subs. Oh. So, yeah, if you're not really doing, you know, feeling a pizza, per se, you can have an appetizer or you can have a sub. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good? That's pretty good, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's delicious. But have you ever had one better? No. No. So pretty no. Good, just to figure speech. No. It's the best damn meatball you ever had. <laughs> it is. It sure is. It sure is. Okay, this is a 50 50 pizza, which we do a lot in the restaurants. We don't charge any extra to do that. A lot of people want to try two pizzas, but they don't want to order two pizzas. So here we have two new pizzas. This is a fennel pollen pizza with fennel sausage. Uh, thinly uh, sliced red onions and scallions and this is a recipe on the other side which is our carne asada pizza uh, which which is basically all the ingredients you'd find in a carne asada on a pizza and uh, both are very popular they're new and people are really enjoying them can you I have a question for you can you do a, a half and half on a small and a large pizza yes oh, cool. okay cool yeah. delicious all right, so Bob just brought us some mozzarella. Not this isn't mozzarella. Not mozzarella. It's mozzarella. 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 What's you the have difference? To use your hand, though. You have to. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. <laughs> and you guys made it here. We made this here this morning. We make it here every day when we're open, fresh. So whatever mozzarella we're serving on a caprese salad, uh, or we put on a sandwich, is made that day. And that's what you're seeing here. And it's just. A little saltier, a little creamier, a little richer than fresh mozzarella you'd buy at a store in a package. But you can taste it and tell me what you think. We put a little extra virgin olive oil on there. You don't need a lot. Oh my gosh. So good. And, uh, you know, I, I always thought when I bought the mozzarella or a mozzarella floating in its own brine, right. I thought, oh, I'm getting really good mozzarella, but probably not. This is good. What happens if you put this mozzarella in a container and you hydrate it and you put it in your refrigerator for a couple days and pull it out, it's going to taste completely different really? than, than the day you make it. So we're going to be selling this retail in the restaurant. So if you want to have a party at the house and you want some fresh mozzarella as an appetizer, again, it doesn't get any simpler than this. Olive oil, some fresh basil, you don't, you don't need to overthink it. Is it hard to do? No. It's actually surprisingly easy. Really? You just got to get a, a feel for it. Once you get a feel for it, it's easy. Does it take forever? It seems like, why doesn't everybody do it fresh if it's easy? Uh, it's it more, more expensive? It's, it's just... more expensive and it's more time consuming. It's harder to handle. It's a little harder to cut. Portion control. But you can tell the difference. You can absolutely tell the difference. Yeah. I've never had cheese like this. Yeah. Good, right? All right. Thank you.